from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. With them, your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real time chat. From onboarding to termination, we customize our phone. So much wrong with the world. And it's all in my camera roll. Yay! Yeah, Rush is gonna bomb us. Everything's gonna nuke us. U.S. and Israel and Israel and Bahrain and whatever else. Oh. Well, we're having network issues. Yes, Jacksepticeye, I am looking for boobs to unite, unite my penis with every day. <laughs> Derpy Pikachu. Let's put this guy up here. Please stop having network issues. We're live. Yeah, I'm just doing a test stream because remembering how to stream. Yes, because we have to remember. Remember before we forget how to test stream. <sighs> no one follows us anymore, so it doesn't really matter. I have like right. I don't know how to fix that. It's like
play some more music. More music. Because music is all we have in this life. Life on a dirt road here, man. You're probably wondering where have I been? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bite of 78, man, video on my channel, on my YouTube channel. Links are in the thing. Um, life is unfair. Life sucks. And that's all I can really say. I can't even tell you how I feel about anything anymore because... It might be misconstrued in a court of bleeding law. Yes, it's another scuffed stream because I didn't get to setting up the new computer yet. I had to shave some yaks. It's always in one thing and then another and then another. And then we spent six and a half hours setting up a wardrobe. Oh my gosh. 
Don't buy Chinese snap together furniture. Those silk box furniture things. Freaking pain in the ass. I swear. If it looks like it's made out of coat hangers and silk or fabric or plastic, go buy like some Ikea furniture because it's actually made of like press board and easy to assemble. <laughs> I had like stuff like this when I was like way back and eventually the little snap together connectors at the end the little round dish, you know, uh, gaming controller looking things that this, that all the little things snap into eventually wear out and the whole thing falls apart. Oh, life sucks. Life sucks. Let's play some more music. No, not that. We don't want to watch that. Let's see. We want more Trip 40. I think I played this before, but we're going to play it again because my mind is, like, super fuzzy. But I can't tell you why.
the mic is far away from me. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, but I gotta work out. I gotta get it done before I fall asleep because the prescription drugs that I can't talk about. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to be at Megaplex. I'm really upset about that. And I, I, I feel like I'm missing out. Like, you know, I'm missing out on that chance to get my hand held. And, you know, even if it's a guy in a fursuit who's, you know, 290 pounds and lives in his mom's basement, I think I want to get hugged. I really do, man. Like, getting hugged is going to feel freaking awesome. After a year of the COVID and now more COVID and the COVID and the COVID and the Delta and the variants and all this shit. And then they want us to wear masks again and do all this blah, 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 blah. And they want to go back into lockdowns again. I don't think my stuff and my addictions can handle this. My inner demons are like, yay! That and stuff that I pre-ordered showed up a couple of days ago. And it was just a real bummer. I got Charming Snakes. That game, if you haven't seen it, um, so many people in you, you for it's for four to six people. And um, so many people are snakes. One people is the mongoose of truth. And then you're supposed to try to sway the crowd by being a liar or being a truth teller and only the snakes know the true answer and they're going to tell you the wrong answer and you get so many points if you're a snake if you get people to do the wrong answers and you get so many points if you are a human and you do the right answers and the mongoose of truth is just going to try to steer you in the right direction and they get points too and everybody switches roles every time so it's kind of, you know, role play. Less dice, I mean, for the heck of it. <laughs> oh, I love D&D, man. It's the way I like stuff, you know. I got Okatoa, too, the one from Critical Role. And, yeah, we don't want to wear it too far. I don't know who the hell that is. Where is my favorite one? I think we played into the night just now. Or galaxy. Yeah, just go to, straight to Galaxy. Gotta wait for it to play a few notes. And then we gotta slide the menu down because it... I'm gonna go do a little more workout. You guys chill on more music because I'm just not feeling it, man.
36, 37, 38, 39, 7, 10, 11, 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Count along with me. Fifteen. And we're done. There are pump jacks. Because we want to feel sexy and beautiful. Doesn't everybody want to just feel good feel good about themselves feel good about their life not be in pain not suffer <sighs> i just want to play minecraft on the dream smp dream if you're watching this i need your help save me save never <sighs> oh, yeah, this is a boring show. I'm a boring, dumb crap. Oh, I wish I looked like this kid on the screen. I mean, I can deal with horns. I can deal with my freaking face having ta scars or tattoos at this point, especially since I have facial scars. <laughs> Run, look, he doesn't even have abs. Neither do I, but at least I'm trying to go for that flat stomach, man. Uh, but life is kicking my ass. Old man highway needs to go, come to the end of his road. And then he's going to jump off the bridge. Remember Macaulay Culkin and the good son. <laughs> oh, God's sakes, that movie. Mental illness at its best. Let's see, which one is this one? That sounds sad, and I can't, I can't be sad tonight. Stop, stop, stop. We played that song already. Chameleon. Because we need to, like, actually look up what... <laughs> uh, please be easy to find. Hey, boo boy. Brave sounds like a good song, doesn't it? Hopefully, it's not sad. Hopefully, it is something about being brave. We need that brave music tonight. I gotta do my kettlebell. And you need to sit back and chill because this, this is the way we're running things tonight.
It feels good to, to know that somebody's probably watching this. <laughs> me working out. Me flipping out about life. <sighs> Rick and Morty last week, man. Shit. <sighs> the whole Gotrons make the Gotrons make the Gotrons make the giant Gotrons. Uh, I like that summer. This was a summer heavy episode. You know? <laughs> uh, ch nice change. I don't know. After that one where it was like Inception with the family, because the clones made the clones, made the clones, made the clones thing. I don't know. Rick and Morty. <laughs> It makes you think, but it's just so out there. Uh, it was so very Mighty Morphin Power Rangers meets Voltron meets any Gundam series kind of thing. Oh. The Owl House, man. I I'm going to talk about that too. I, I feel like if I don't touch on it, I won't. I like the whole family dynamic that's going on with the Owl House. But, you know, as someone who's was... There's just a lot of hardcore gayness now. It, it's so hard. You know, you want to be accepting. You want to understand that people are... You understand that people are gay. You are accepting. But you're just not ready for it in cartoons, man, sometimes, you know? you know and it's like you know my little pony is that way too and it's it's starting to get a little hard to deal with you know i like the whole girl power situation that everybody's doing you know it's good to have some heroines in the world but you know don't forget we're dudes there are dudes out here too <laughs> We may be confused and wearing a t-shirt dress at this time, but, you know, we are still dudes. Even if we do have ducks or bobs in the duck, you know. The world is a confusing place, and little kids watch this stuff. I remember when G.I. Joe was all about, you know, don't take other people's medicine. You know, make sure you know how to swim. Don't play with guns. <laughs> Be safe when you cross the street. That was mind-blowing when I was a kid, you know? They were talking to us and making us think and stuff. And, God, now it's like just everything's in your face. And it's like the 90s all over again. I mean, Jerry Springer, Geraldo Rivera, uh, Jenny Jones... Or whatever her name was, Jenny Craig, or whatever the hell. Uh, Maury Povich, and all those kind of talk show things. I miss MTV just playing music, man. MTV, if you're watching this, play music videos again. I'm tired of reality TV shows. I mean, when it was, you know, you come home and it was the block on... It was, you know, you had VH1 playing music when it was like real world and stuff like that and i'd rather have real world at this point you know too just to be honest with you real people like dealing with real situations you know <laughs> living together <sighs> what happened to that stuff now it's just you know shows about clip shows and stupid crap like that I actually missed Jackass and Viva La Bam and, uh, what was it? You know, because it felt like you had real people who you were really connecting with who were real, like, honest, even though you knew Viva La Bam was just a bunch of crap going on and pranks that they, f that they filmed just to get through crap. I don't know. I just miss the music of everything. The world needs more music right now. <laughs> uh, if the world could need anything right now, more music wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, China, Russia, Iran, Afghanistan, Hamas. 
Oh, uh, God. <laughs> We're on the verge of just about to kill each other, so... Man, where are the, um... Uh, Bob Dylan's of our generation. I'm betting they're all, like, on SoundCloud or Bandcamp somewhere. You know, because the radio won't freaking play them. I mean, like, Evanescence... I mean, Amy Lee's gotta be in her late 30s now, by now. <laughs> I heard she has, like, kids and stuff, and she's married. It's so weird. It's just so weird that in a couple of a couple of weeks, it'll be the 20th anniversary of September 11th, and those towers coming down, and how everything is all patriot. everybody was all patriotic then, and now it's like, you know, you have the Olympics, and they're like, fuck the country. And I'm like, no. You're representing our country. If you don't agree with it, great. But don't tell everybody we suck and how horrible we are. You know, you're there to be a champion. You were picked out of people who broke their backs, asses, and everything else to be there. And you're telling us that you're not going to salute our flag because we picked you out of everybody else to do this X event. You know, and everything being woke now. Screw being woke. You know what? If you don't like it, don't look. You know what? Uh... I actually went back and watched Chris Raygun's Punch a Nazi thing and actually read the lyrics. And I actually un I removed my dislike of it. I'm going to say it right now. I I hated it when it first came out, but then I looked at the and now I've looked at the lyrics. And now I'm just like, okay, it is satire, it is music. It's set to to paparazzi by Lady Gaga. Go watch it and like look at the lyrics. <laughs> you're being everything that you're not you you know you hate everything. Uh, the world hates everything now. You know, even food can be racist. Did you know that the highway system is racist? The highway, the federal freaking highway, the thing that we drive on that's full of bleeding potholes. You know, everybody has to use because it's because you can't afford the tolls. Got to take the interstate because the, because the interstate has more pothole because the tolls are the, because it costs, you know, two hundred dollars in tolls to get any damn where. The world, man. The world needs more. More or less. Fix the... Po I, th I, I, I think, you know, if the government's going to spend $35 billion, that's billion with a B, at least they could do is fix all the bloody potholes in America. If they could do that, maybe then I could trust the government again. It's not that I trusted the government more under Trump. It was that Trump was so busy with every other day with a scandal that you weren't like looking at what the government was even doing because there was just like, oh, Trump said this, scandal, scandal, scandal. Trump said that, scandal, scandal, scandal. Kofefe, scandal. For... Every, you know, for every good thing that he did, there was like 90 scandals. And it was just like, everybody acted like trash and everybody hated him. And I was like, well, yeah, there's a lot to hate. But also, for everything that he was doing, keeping the taxes low, keeping the, keeping the stuff and the food coming... And stuff. Have you been to a grocery store lately? There's shortages of everything. 
I mean Kool Aid and like Twinkies. They're like sold out. If you go down a soda aisle, there's like no soda. I haven't had a great Mexican Fanta in almost two months now. I can't even get Tim Tams in my area. I have to go to Orlando just to get Tim Tams. And I'm like, well, screw that shit, man. And like Jammy Dodgers are four dollars for the three pack you can get the like the it's the six pack not the three pack the sit the six pack and you can only get the strawberry ones and they're four dollars if you look up poundland and look up jammy dodgers they're one pound nine p how the hell does does the three the six pack equal four dollars when you can get the like 24 pack at poundland in the uk i want to be in the uk i don't care if tommy and it tortures me he could get up and sing it's a small world in my face every day for the for my whole time there and i think it would be a good thing i want to get on the train and ride, ride through england all day, all night. Just go wherever the trains take me. That and just play as much Minecraft as I can with everybody. Uh, I've got the new computer. It's all set up. I'm trying to get the accounts migrated so I can do a non-scuff stream. It's just... Every day gets in the way. And then we have to move things because my new studio, the floor is just super garbage. And I'm in the boiler room in the pipe chase so we don't, like, die. Not because the boiler's lit or anything. And I, and I feel like it is Hell's Kitchen, man. I gotta finish Kettlebell so you need more music. Let's find more music. I'm good with this. Oh, come on, play.
this one been one hell of a stream, but I have to go. Good night. Remember, uh, I'll leave the chat out for a bit. So if you want to say anything, let me know. Uh, good night. I got to go take a pee and a poo and all that stuff. So good night.